So for number 43, you can either do long division, which I don't recommend, or synthetic. Um, take the opposite of negative 2, and you put, do the uh, coefficients 1, negative 5, 15, negative 27. Bring down the first number. This times this plus this. This times this plus this. This times this plus this. The negative 9 represents the remainder, which only leads me to C, but let me make sure. 1, negative 3, 9. I'm good. Okay, let's go over number 44. So what they're asking me to do is take negative 2 and plug it in. So I'm going to go negative 2 to the 4th plus 8 times negative 2 cubed plus 7 times negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2 minus 3. Almost ran out of space. When a negative is taken to an even power, it turns positive. When it's taken to an odd power, it stays negative. But then you multiply that by 8, and that's negative 64. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 7 is 28. And a negative times a negative is a positive. Um, 16 minus 64 is negative 48, plus 28 is negative 20. Plus 12 is negative 8, minus 3 is negative 11. Boom, I'm good to go. Careful, I feel like this one isn't difficult, but there's so many opportunities to make silly mistakes. All right, number 45. You can take an hour and solve this whole system, or you could plug it in. So I could take negative 1, put it in for A, 1, put it in for B, and 5, put it in for C. So negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, minus 1, minus 5, 2 minus 1, is 1 minus 5 is negative 4. It does work for this one. So now I've got to check the next one. It's got to work for all three or it's not going to be the answer. So plug that in there, that in there, that in there. Negative of negative 1 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5, so we have 1 plus 5. 6 times 5 is 30. 1 plus 5 is 6. Minus 30 is negative 24. Good to go. Let me just check the third one. I don't want to circle it, get the wrong one, just because I'm too lazy to check the last one. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3, so I'm at 3 minus 3. 6 times 5 is 30. 3 minus 3 is 0, plus 30 is 30. Yes, the first one I tried worked. Okay, so what we need to do is describe the transformation. So if you look here, this is h prime. I didn't really go over h prime, but your geometry teacher did. So this is the original, and this is it moving. So honestly, I'm just looking, and it went down. So I'm going to look at the one that says down. Well, that says up. And now I just have to figure out, it doesn't look like it went to the left at all. It just went down, so that's out. Now I just have to figure out how many units it went down. So I'll just pick j, and I'll literally count. One, two, three three, four. Four units down. Okay. Solve each equation. Whenever it's absolute value, I'm always going to have two answers. So B is out. Okay. Um, so what I do is I drop the bars. Oops, that's a nine. And I solve. I know one of the answers is 26. I know it's D. But let me show you and minus 9 equals negative 17. Because remember, when you have the absolute value of a negative number, it turns positive. And if you have the absolute value of a positive number, it's still positive. It's the, it's the distance from 0. So plus 9, plus 9, and equals negative 8. I know I'm good to go. If you don't believe me, you could check. 6 minus 9 is 3. That'll never give me 17. 2 minus 9 is 7. That won't give me 17, so it has to be D. All right, r squared, so I know there's got to be two answers, so that one's out. So I start by subtracting 2. I'm going to move over here now. 49r squared equals 16. Divide by 49. 16 doesn't divide by 49, so I leave it a fraction. But I do notice that I can take the square root of both. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 49 is 7, plus or minus. Boom, the answer is D. If you don't believe me, plug in 1. 1 squared is 1 times 49 plus 2 is not 18. And oh my gosh, that's just so crazy that even if I square it, it's going to end up being a fraction. Okay. Factor this completely. Well, it looks like it's hinting to me to take out a 6, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
This is a little bit of an advanced one. So I'll eliminate the n, and I'll just write m squared minus 7m plus 10. Two numbers that multiply to get 10 and add to get 7, m minus 5, m minus 2. So that's out, that's out, that's out. Throw the n on the back end because the n is on the back end, and there's the 6. Confirms that the answer is A. Number 50, perform the indicated operation. This dot means multiply. So I'm just literally going to take f and multiply it by g. Negative 4x minus 5 times x squared minus 5x. I'm going to box it out. Negative 4x cubed plus 20x squared. Now I'm worried you're going to be like, oh, negative 4x cubed, it's b. You want to make sure, though, that all the other answers match up, or all the other parts of it match up. Otherwise, um, you might get confused. So 20 minus 5 is 15, and there's the 25x. So the answer is B. And by the way, when you turn the page, there's all the answers, so make sure I'm good to go.